Welcome to this instructional video for the OFS Fitel Splice On Connector. In this video, we will show you how to install the OFS Fitel Splice On Connector using an OFS Fitel S153 Fusion Splicer. The Splice On Connector, or also known as SOC, uses a field proven factory epoxy connector with fusion splicing technology to provide a highly reliable, low loss, and low back reflection quick termination. The SOC's ability to work with an existing fusion splicers allows for an average termination time of three minutes or less. Let's review the SOC's key features and advantages. The factory polished connector ferrule meets or exceeds industry specifications for attenuation and optical return loss. A factory cleaned and precision cleaved fiber end allows for minimal preparation time and consistent results. The SOC connector body is factory assembled allowing for minimal parts easier handling, and faster assembly. Because the splice point is contained within the SOC's strain relief loop, the need for costly splice trays can be eliminated. This allows for simpler cable management and improved airflow within the rack space. The SOC can be installed with standard fusion splicing tools and equipment, minimizing startup tooling costs. The SOC is offered in 19 styles, including LC, SC, ST, and FC connector configurations, and in a variety of fiber types, such as standard single mode and multi-mode OM1, OM2, OM3, and OM4 to meet any application. Before we begin, let's review the tools, supplies, and equipment that are required. You will need a 900 micron tight buffer stripper, fiber cleaning solution for isopropyl alcohol and low lint optical tissues, a fiber scrap container, a precision fiber optic cleaver, a fiber optic fusion splicer with ability to use removable fiber holders, the patented splice on connector holder, and the OFS Vitel splice on connector oven. Depending on the cable configuration, such as loose tube and armored or standard distribution cable, you may also need the following additional tools and supplies cable slitters and ring tools, rosin bags, icky pick remover and 900 micron fan out kit for 250 micron fiber. Let's review the individual components of the OFS Vitel SOC. Each vial will include the splice on connector body with attached cleave protector, an SOC fusion splice protection sleeve with stainless steel strength member, a strain relief boot, an outer connector housing, which is only included with the SC style connector, and an extended dust cap to aid in handling of the connector. Finally, let's review a few items to check on our fusion splicing equipment before we begin. This will help to reduce any poor terminations that may occur during the fusion splicing process. Make sure that the fusion splicer's V-grooves, lenses, and mirrors have been cleaned according to the manufacturer's instructions. Dirt, debris, or dust will adversely affect the ability of the fusion splicer to function properly. The fusion splicer's electrodes have been inspected and are within the manufacturer's specifications. The proper splice program has been selected for the fiber to be spliced. The arc check has been conducted to ensure a properly calibrated machine for the current field conditions. And finally, the fusion splicer's tension test should be turned off as this may shift the SOC connector holder out of place during the process. Now let's install the SOC connector. First, remove the factory installed dust cap. Next, while holding the connector firmly, pull straight down on the cleave protector to remove it from the connector. When doing this, be careful not to touch the cleaved fiber stub with the protector or your fingers, as this may damage the cleaved end of the fiber. After removing the cleave protector, inspect the fiber pigtail for any signs of natural fiber curl. During the manufacturing of the SOC, the amount of fiber curl is mitigated. However, Fiber curl is a natural result of the manufacturing process of fiber optic cables and may return after packaging. This does not indicate a defect in the SOC itself. If it appears that the fiber is not centered at the back of the connector body, the fiber pigtail may be gently centered by a light push from the operator's finger or by rotating the connector when placing it in the connector holder. Now insert the connector into the splice-on connector holder so that the back end of the connector body is flush with the end of the holder. Once aligned correctly, the connector should fit freely in the holder with no force required. Please note that while placing the LC connector into the holder, 
placing the front of the connector into the holder first may allow for a more secure fit as shown. Next, remove the existing right side fiber holder and insert the patented SOC holder in its place, making sure that the fiber stub lines properly in the V-groove block of the split screen. The preparation of the SOC is complete. Now, let's prepare the field file. First, slide the 900 micron strain relief boot and then the SOC Fusion Splice Protection Sleeve onto the 900 micron field fiber. Strip, clean, and cleave the field fiber to a 10 millimeter cleave length. Your OFS Vital Splicer is set up to use removable fiber holders that can also be used with the splicer's companion cleaver. Using this cleave method produces a cleave length of longer than 10 millimeters. To remedy this, make sure that the tight buffer is even with the end of the chuck instead of the guideline. This will ensure that the splice length is not too long for the included SOC Fusion Splice Sleeve. Once cleaved, insert the cleaved fiber into the left-hand side of the Fusion Splicer. Close the splicer's wind protector and perform the Fusion Splice. Once the fusion splicing cycle has completed, remove the connector and connector holder from the splicer and slide up the SOC fusion splice protection sleeve to cover the splice. It is important that an equal amount of the splice sleeve covers the buffer on each side of the fusion splice. Now transfer the SOC to the OFS Vital Splice Sleeve Oven, recheck that the protection sleeve has remained centered, and heat the splice sleeve according to the included instructions. After the heat cycle has completed, remove the assembly from the oven. The connector body may be hot, so use proper handling techniques. Make sure that the splice sleeve is fully cooled before sliding the strain relief boot into place. For SC connectors, install the outer housing onto the connector. You have successfully completed the installation of the OFS Vital Splice-On Connector. For more information, contact your OFS Fitel Sales Associate.